Hello, Georgia Burns here. Welcome back to my card making. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the dies out of Peaceful Moment. I have used this die, the top leaf and the underneath leaf and I've also used, I'm just taking out the ones I've got to use, this one. I haven't used this one before but I used this one today I'll show you what I did with that that was all I used and I need that happy birthday right what I've done is I've already cut this out because I need to do it on my big shot with that um, one I showed you stop it soon I cut it out here and I cut it out twice. As you can see, I've still got bits in. Um, let me just cut this bit off because this bit never cut. Right, what I did was move that out of the way. I placed this once there, cut it, and then I turned it round and cut it again that way. And there's a little bit that's half cut and half not cut in the middle. But that's all right because <clears throat> we're putting our flowers and sentiment over the top of that. This will sit on a white card base. This is five and five and a half by three and th three and three quarters. I have to remember them. And that will sit on top of a five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, like that. And which in turn will sit on a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored, in, scored at four and one eighth. Now I've already cut the big flowers because these don't go in my sidekick. And I've got them all mixed up. One will go there, and one's going to go there this time. This one I stuck them top and bottom in the centre when. I want to put them this way this time. This idea did come from Pinterest, by the way. And I think it was um, Michelle Last that did these. I think it was Michelle Last. There's a couple on there of this. The one I saw, or one I can remember, is Michelle Last. Right, the leaves these ones we won't be using them all when I go to glue them down we will cut them off and they will sit either side of them but we do need to cut I've got some scraps here <coughs> two leaves two buds and two bud stalks so the leaf is in white we need two of these The bud piece is in pink, petal pink by the way, is it petal pink? No it's not, it's blushing bride. Get on. I'm trying to do it so I can only do two passes. And then a bit of soft suede for the bud leaf. And we'll put that down like that.
pretty much so kick and cut them out. One of them, one leaf, and one bud. So we'll repeat that now. Put the leaf on, bud on, and Another bad rubbish. Alright, so now all we've got to do is chop and cut all these together. So, chopping off the bottom two leaves on these brown. Uh, soft suede and crumb cake leaves so we don't need them get rid of them and then we shall glue these together don't need piles of glue on them and this just glue to half the leaf. Like that. Just to half of it. Do the same with this one. Just glue that on like that. There's them two. And then the buds. We need to put the bud. Glue the bud, that'd be easier. A little bit of glue round the right side of the bud. And place that on top. Do the same again with this one. And there we have our little buds. As our leaves. Right. Let's glue this. Onto our 5 by 7 piece, 5 by 7, 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths, like that, and then we we'll this on our card base. Like that. Now these flowers, I am, like I said, going to put them either side 
of my cut out piece and all I'm doing to stick these down is just glue in the middle and then I will get rid of the bits glue that down like that and glue that down like that these I'm going to stick coming out of there and these I'm just going to glue the two bottom leaves and put them, hide them under the petal there Where is this? Oh, it's an old one. It's a bit I chopped off. Don't need that. So with this one, I'm going to put under this petal like that, and then the buds. I'm also going to put under a bottle like that now I want this up here like that there and these white leaves are just going to come out the sides like that so Let's glue them down. Slide them under. I'm not worried about these showing because the sentiment will hide them. Now, I've done it again. On this one, I ended up putting just a few splatter dots just around the outside because I felt it looked bare when it was all on. And I actually put the stamp on a block, a half a block, to do it before I glued everything down and I forgot. So, we're going to do it again. So what I did, I got my stamp, the one I always use from um, Waterfront, the splatter dots, and I just put a post-it note over my leaves where I don't want any ink on, like that, and just added just a little bit of splatter dots. Just around the edges. Like that. Put some no oh, that do. Oh, I'll leave that out. Now, for the sentiment for the middle, I used this label, Label Me Pretty bunch. And I also used the Label Me Pretty stamp set. I know it's retired. I know not everybody's got this one. But I thought I would... Wrong one. That's not good. But I wanted to use it because I didn't just want a plain um, sentiment. And in fact, the one 
Michelle last used was a new one which I haven't got. So I stamp that and then the happy birthday from the peaceful moments I stamped in the middle like that. Then I punched it out. And I haven't left myself any room to hold it still. sit on there on dimensionals need some large dimensionals up the scraps and that will go on there. All that leads me to do is just put some gems on. Now I added five on the last one, so let's put one there, one there, one there, and two there. There we are. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. Um, if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.